One of the biggest challenges we face in the Natural History Unit, I think, is taking really big subjects and you've got to condense those down to a small screen in the space of one hour. I think the secret, I think, to those is twofold. Storytelling. Remember the story that you want to hang that on and that'll take the audience with you. And it's the visuals. What, how can we bring those habitats and that scenery alive and that often comes down to platforms um, and rigs you know we use jibs helicopters often movement a sense of movement is what really immerses you into a place biggest challenge is um, I think is wrestling with m big ambition and big audience expectation along with budgets ever decreasing budgets I think my advice for anyone who wants to work in natural history is a lot of it is about contacts and it is about who you know uh, and experience so I think I think to start off you do need some great wildlife knowledge and you can get that a variety of ways through degrees or work or just picking up camera and going filming wildlife yourself and then it comes to um, who you know and, and contacts it's being in the right place at the right time I've worked at the Natural History Filming now for 20 years. I think the programme I'm most proud of, I think, would be um, David Attenborough's Life in Cold Blood. Um, yes, it got uh, recognised, it got awards, but the bit that I'm most proud of is storytelling. We found, a, I think, a really new story and showed behaviour and we showed things about, especially crocodiles, that are such a well-known subject on television, but we've managed to show, I think, a completely different side to them. Um, uh, things like, well, we showed parental care in, in crocodiles, for instance, and we showed um, very amorous mating habits of turtles. These are things that I don't think people had seen or thought of before, and that audience surprise and audience reaction um, is what I loved, and uh, that's why I'm so proud of that.